a crazy thing. You gotta be cut. You gotta be show yourself strong and show that you are true you have a true relationship with God, true faith. Right. Let God really deal with you Amen. so you can survive through this midst of adversity. Amen. 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 The day, the day is coming when things around us are really gonna die. Will you be found or fine with enough power working in you to bring it back? What's in your life attached to you that is dying? Those things that are dying, you need to let them go. We are holding on to things too long. That's why we are not effective in prayer. When we're we we praying the right things, we're not effective because we have so much luggage, so much baggage, so much things going on with us that we don't we don't even have no power behind. We have nothing behind our prayers besides the fact that we know what to pray. At least we got that because a lot of people don't even know what to pray. <laughs> they don't. Don't even know what to pray. But at least we know what to pray. We got all this stuff that we're carrying with us, and God can't even move. He can't even do nothing for us because we ain't gonna deal with our past. We got so it's so much unforgiveness. I just pray over you right now to let that unforgiveness go. I'll pray for your heart. Amen. That black sheep syndrome. Nobody wants you in your family because you saved. I cancel that in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for restoration and your family. God has not ordained for you to never talk to your family for the rest of your life. Amen. I pray for restoration in this atmosphere. Amen. I pray for God and the love of God to really rest upon you. The Father's Amen. love rest upon you and your family. Amen. Friends, old, old friends, co-workers. I just pray for restoration. I pray for your heart this Amen. day. Amen. In Jesus' name. 1 Kings 18, this is the next chapter, 18 verses 1 to 6. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, shoot thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Now, all this is going on, and God wants him to go back to Ahab. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if any of us can really do, I'm like, hey, God, I, we want, you can... You could send a little messenger, a note, and he had them birds, face to face. All this don't happen. I don't know if I want to go see him. I don't know if I'm going to make it out. Email. 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 Right. Email. Email, text message, something. I'm not going face to face. Tweet it. Tweet it. Face to face. All this is happening. And God said, go on the air. And Elijah, what do you do? He obeys. Yeah. Elijah went and shoot himself on Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was a, the governor in his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. For it was so, when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took an hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land unto all fountains of the water and unto all brooks pre-adventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive that we lose that we lose not all the beasts so they divided the land between them to pass throughout it Ahab went one way by himself and Obadiah went another way by himself this is a verse I'm skipping ahead this is verse 17 and 21 and it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Elijah's, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, father's house, and that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of the groves four hundred, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long help ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Mount Carmel. That's the next place. The next place God tells Elijah, gather these people here. Every believer 
whoever do anything in God, whoever they go to a Mount Carmel in their life. Where the water was as represents the word and the spirit. Human nature always goes against the ways of God. That's why we have to what? Die to our flesh. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Carmel was a place of being fruitful. Multiplying. Replenish. This is where God starts to really put us out there. And make us have some type of impact in the things of him. We start to flourish in the things of him. If we don't become fruitful in what we're doing, we might as well stop doing what we're doing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. no fruitfulness, there's no, no power, there's no offspring of what we're doing. We need to just leave it alone. If it's you and five other people that are going on with you, and four of them got your last name, that's not being fruitful. It's time to increase. And you will hear so many senior leaders don't know how to build churches and build foundation that say it's not about numbers. And I want to disagree with that. I do disagree. Because God consistently through the Bible says multiply. Yeah. There's a book called Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so if numbers weren't important, I wouldn't think that God would emphasize that. We just want to skip past so much stuff. We want to go use one scripture for our situation. Yeah. And skip past all the other scriptures. Just use this scripture for our situation. Yeah. If two or three shall agree, then it should be established. Amen. And that's what we're just going to stick with that. <laughs> we're not going to go with none of the other scriptures. <laughs> right. Now it says it in his word. Yeah. Uh, multiply you. The stars in the sky. It's time to increase. It's time for us to have impact, influence. And multiplying don't even have to do with how many people at your church. You know, impact in other churches, friends, family members, nations. Like, just impact. Be fruitful. Multiply. Let your light shine. Amen. Have some type of impact. Have some type of people that are attached to what God has on your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The right path. This is where we all miss it. Some somewhere down the line, so many people have made the wrong turn. Have missed the path that God has for them. De choices, decisions. People, we just, they just miss it. You gotta have to be cut and refined before they can be fruitful. They want to be fruitful automatically. They don't want to get. You know, I just want. I want to just. I just want to flourish. I want to be successful. I want to own businesses. I want to own this church. And they have been cut. They have no character. Full of pride. Full of angry demons. Uh, and they wonder why they just go off on their secretary all the time. Man, I'm like, that anger is real. That will mess up your whole agenda. Yeah. Well, I come from a family of anger. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I come from a family you you got you got going off on in public. Yeah. And embarrassed. In public. I said, man, this is I don't want nothing bad no more. I don't want nothing bad. I was so scared of my aunt growing up. It was ridiculous. I was my her sister. sister. My sister. I was so, it was. I have never been sense. scared of anybody else in my whole life. But I was so scared of her. I saw her when I was a kid. She whooped one of my cousins. I was like, oh my god! It was so bad. I was like, it was, and it was like so unnecessary. It was like the, I don't even know what he did. It was like the smallest thing. But she just like exploded. I was like, oh my god. I told my mom, she told the story at the time. I said, if you whoop me, like my aunt whooped them, I would be like a saint. I would be like an angel. I would be like the best kid in the whole world. Straight A's, Harvard, all that. I would be so perfect. I'm telling you, it was, it was like that, that anger demon. Yeah, in the bloodline. In our bloodline, it was just like, it just passed down. And you can see it through all the elders, even the kids, even now, my age, they just operating that anger. They can walk on their kids. It's this anger. It's that demon that has to stop. It has to be cut out. That's right. Amen. Yeah. 
at the root. Uh, you know, I'll be with them really believing really demons and generate. No, no, that stuff is real. It sure is. It's real. That stuff need to be dealt with immediately. Amen. Amen. And cooking sometimes help us become more humble and bold. A lot of us, we don't have enough. Um, we don't have enough um, confidence in what we're doing. And if you don't have no confidence and no boldness in what you're doing, I'm telling you, you're not going to be right. impactful. People will notice it if you're confident or not. Yeah. Our cats are all nervous, anxiety spirits. That stuff has to go. Amen. I, I uh, often hear people say, I'm just so nervous. No, that stuff has to go. Amen. That's not okay. Amen. It's okay to depend on God, have the fear of the Lord, and not be cocky. But it's not okay to be nervous. Amen. It's not okay to be anxious. No, okay. Oh, I just hope. Oh, I wish. I hope. I wish. I just. Oh my. I just. Oh, if it doesn't happen, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That is not okay. Amen. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Amen. And what happens? And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. This is the word. That people do not know. We have to get this in our spirits. Amen? Amen. We have to go to Zarephath first before we go to Mount Carmel. We have to be refined. We have to be polished before we can go out and do what God's supposed to do. Amen. We just want to jump out there. We can't just jump out there. We got to be ready. Amen. And now is the time we need to get ready. If you ain't ready, you need to get ready. Come on, that's right. You need to do whatever you got to do. Whatever type of intercessor you are do your part please that it is time to rise up amen, amen. amen. path intercessors is needed to truly be effective to fulfill the purpose God has for all of our lives and there is a purpose there's a path that God has for all of our lives we have to get on it if you don't know what it is we will pray for you and we will help you a lot of people just can't they just haven't had that they don't know. They can't. They haven't accessed God. They haven't heard. Their they, ears need to be awake. We have some leaders here. We can pray for you. Amen. 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 Do not leave this place the same way you came out. Amen. After hearing this, do not leave. If you don't want to pray after this, you need to reconsider. You need to reconsider what you're doing in God. I just want to encourage you. To go higher and to pray more consistently and be the intercessor that God has called you to be. Amen. 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 I am done. <laughs>